Hey guys, it's me, and we're gonna do a little mini tour, and then I'm gonna tell you the stories that so have happened down nice. here. So, come along, come on, come on, let's go, let's go on a, on a journey to the others. This is where the first story that I'm gonna tell happened, in this exact spot. Okay, so that's the location of the first story I'm gonna tell. All right, come on. This way. <laughs> and you see, I explained, we go down a short hallway. On this oh, side is storage closets. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and on this side is the furnace room. That like reflective thing always creeps me out. Laundry, Laundry room. room. So second turn. Lots of old books. And the oh, third oh, little oh, hallway. Goodness. This There's is the light. door that opened by oh, itself. So yeah, this, that door right there. Is the one that opened by itself, and it's really never opened by itself again. Like, it's really like cold. I'm trying to pull it without turning the doorknob, and nothing is happening. And this is the room that I absolutely hate. I'm already feeling it in my throat. Yeah, this it room is, is a storage room. It's really um, cold down here. Like really, 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 really cold. Yeah, it's always cold down here. Yeah, I'm already like shaking a bit. Um, just so, like even just walking down to the basement, like it's an uneasy feeling. Like you always feel kind of like yeah. I hate chills. this room so much. Okay, let's do this. Hey, it's Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a haunted house that I know very well, the one that I live in. And if I seem a little anxious and nervous, it's because we are in the worst room in this entire house to tell ghost stories about the basement so we're gonna try to make this really fast um so in the little tour at the beginning of the vlog so yeah my really arms sore. hurt in here too um in the little tour that i did at the beginning of this vlog don't do that <laughs> i showed you an area of the house of the first event that I'm going to tell you about and this is going to be two separate vlogs. So this first story has to do with the cat that we used to have. His name was Kingston. A bunch of us were at the top of the stairs talking about the hauntings and the ghosts in this house. Just discussing like how weird it was and it was your mom. The friend who named the ghost with me, I do not do that, do not ever name your ghost. Don't do that. Don't ever do that. My twin sister and the friend's sister was there and Kingston went downstairs where his litter box was. And we're just minding our own business, having this conversation, when all of a sudden we hear him scramble up the stairs. Like he was terrified and he stopped in the middle and was hissing at the bottom of the stairs. And he, it wasn't like a quick, it, he was like, like, he was hissing for a good minute, maybe a good minute and a half. It was a really, really long time. We couldn't see what he was hissing at. Oh my God. We couldn't hear what he was... What? I'm hearing shit. Uh, we couldn't hear what he was hissing at. But something scared him and his hair was up on end. And we're all staring at him the entire time like, what the fuck? He calmed down, came upstairs, and then jumped up on the windowsill. And her mom looked over and was like, oh my god. Went over, got a piece of paper towel, and had to clean him up because he didn't finish going to the bathroom. It was still stuck to him. And I don't know about you, if you've ever had a cat, they're very clean. They spend half the day cleaning themselves. I've never heard of a cat not finishing going to the bathroom and just... So something literally scared the shit out of Pinkston. Oh my arm. Anyway, really yeah. It wasn't hurting us. <laughs> if you guys have any theories of what this could be, or if your cat has ever freaked out like this, he used to climb the walls at night and everything, like, and he would bat at things that weren't there, and like, look at things that weren't there. And they say that animals can see stuff that's not there. If you have any theories of this, or similar experiences. Or why my arm all of a sudden hurts down here. Please let me know in the comments. And remember to like this video. If you like me, please subscribe. I really do appreciate it. And thanks for watching. <laughs>